Welcome to another video on my channel. I'm Somnath and today I'll talk about something on again MCP or model context protocol. So what exactly uh, this video I'm planning for. So far I created a couple of videos on MCP which is pretty much interesting and I got a very good feedback from many of you. Uh, so good that you have some interest on this uh, cutting edge things. So today I'll uh, do one more uh, interesting topic about MCP and that will going to create an MCP client this time. So means I'll be having a chat system as you can see in the left side and uh, I'll just show you that how MCP uh, I'm, uh, I'm using over here as a client uh, to get data all the way from SAP system. So before I just show and demo the uh, result let's quickly understand what I'm doing. Okay the machinery and different other you know infrastructure that I'll be uh, leveraging to achieve this you know uh, demo right so let's say this is my SAP okay and I'll be having some OData service which will be providing my SAP information let's say a product information or maybe some sales order data correct so this is all we are going to get out of SAP but how to query uh, generally we query with some UI5 Fury or maybe through Postman that we have been seeing but a couple of uh, episodes back I already published published something that we can integrate some cloud AI okay uh, artificial intelligence ready or AI capable uh, some chat box through which I can make a natural uh, query uh, to get data all the way from SAP all right and that i demonstrated because uh, generally to query an audit a service we need to make certain you know uh, certain path sap uh, bc then uh, who or data etc and finally the service name let's say g um, g product or whatever service and followed by the entity set okay so this kind of a uh, query which you generally make to make a uh, to make a request and get the data out of but how we can do everything in a natural language let's say get me two products or get me uh, uh, three products and skip the previous two something like that I'm not building up the actual query with a natural uh, communication I'm able to get the data all the way from SAP and so for that I created one MCP server okay and this MCP server I integrated with the cloud AI which actually was able to make the magic okay actually Claude is already LLM uh, powered which is a large language model that is already hooked up with this right that that concept is already attached or embedded with that it knows like how we can uh, make this query happen or possible but some uh, episode back someone told me that how this MCP server I can actually connect with my custom chat because I mean maybe I'm not using a cloud or something like that but how custom way I can do that okay so for that actually I thought to build up a new episode for you new video for you I hope this video will be also informative to you so let's see how we can achieve that okay so what I'll do again uh, this time I'll be creating an MCP client okay so this is an MCP client and uh, I'll be having uh, instead of cloud AI I'll be having uh, this MCP client which will be interacting with my MCP server right which is my server and followed by that will actually make a request to my SAP backend right now the problem is uh, that MCP server how to work and how to integrate we already know and uh, the problem with the client is that when will make a natural something uh, na language right natural language I will just want to uh, get the data how my client knows like which kind of a method a tool I need to call from this MCP server because MCP server generally has certain capabilities or tool set okay or you can call it as a tool set right so for example my MCP can uh, render uh, or fetch product information or maybe the order information etc right so this kind of a thing this MCP server is capable to do that so I have maybe accordingly I'll create uh, different tools uh, for different purpose or activities now when I'll make a re request to this my uh, MCP client uh, some intelligence should be there which will understand out of this natural instruction that which uh, method to call and how to call 
right? What will be the parameters, argument that that uh, concept needs to be extracted out of this user instruction itself? Who can do that? So for that, I need to enable LLM again uh, to this process, right? So now, as an experiment, I didn't want to connect something a chat GPT, okay, or maybe a DeepSeek or something like that. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, do something a uh, pretty local way, right? So that as much as experiment I can do. Uh, for that, I definitely need certain good infrastructure uh, because I am running on a 32 GB of RAM and I am having my Docker uh, where I have both the systems, SAP as well as this LLM is actually installed locally. I'll show you quickly. So this is my Docker setup. The first one is the Olama platform on which my Olama 3 is actually uh, running as a model, local model. And the second container is showing about the A4 HANA, which is a developer edition, where from I can access my SAP locally from my computer. This MCP client, I have a plugin with LLM, right? So whenever I'll make a request to this chat, it will get that instruction and go to this LLM, make a request to, to understand uh, the tool and the uh, argument uh, to call that tool. That will actually help LLM to do that. And once I get that, simple, I just call the respective MCP toolset the way Claude AI does. And eventually, the rest of the piece of the work is just you know nothing. You already understood how the machine works. So let's test it over here. So let's make a request like get two products, okay, from SAP. So here you can see that how this uh, initiation started. Like first the MCP client was started and then it was trying to connect with the uh, Olama um, platform to get the Lama model active. And it said that yes, I'm able to connect this one. And uh, it also able to understand the models, which is the Lama 3 latest that I, that is running in that container. And after that, it triggered the uh, MCP server because the client will actually trigger the server itself, okay? It is unlike we have a server running and I'll make a request to it, it's nothing like that. This client will make a request to the server itself. And now it's showing that what exactly the, you know, the URL uh, that it's going to make a request to, to get the data all the way from SAP. And interestingly, it says that MCP server uh, will be having following three kind of a tooling, a tool set. The first is for SAP health check. Internally, it will be using mainly to get to know if SAP was working and fine. And uh, you can see that uh, second uh, here by this tool check, it already told that connected to server, which is SAP MCP server, right? That's fantastic. And it actually available three different tools. Predominantly, we'll be using the products and the orders, right? To get to that, uh, let's say get two products from SAP. Let's see what it does. It's making a request to uh, or querying the uh, Lama 3 model uh, with this user text. And Lama 3 will actually parse the uh, string, understand the context, and it will determine which uh, tool to use because I'm asking for products. So it will uh, look for this tooling. It matches closely this product. So it will got, got these products. And it will also get to know that this two is the number of uh, uh, records that I'm looking for and it gives me the data. Yeah, it, it's a bit slow because I put a, a kind of an intentional delay to ensure all the servers in up and running. But uh, it's not that slow uh, if I just remove those delays, my intentional delays in the coding. And you can see that I am able to fetch two products perfectly all the way from SAP backend. That's fantastic, right? So this MCP uh, client takes the input uh, and actually passing it to a Lama 3 model and Lama LLM actually giving back the response that what tool it's actually finding out out of this tool set and closely matching about the user request is get products and argument it prepared okay two as top of this means first two records and skip is zero because i didn't ask to ignore or skip any record right so let's do next thing and get three new products and let's just keep uh, two what will happen so now again it's passing to the query Let's see how it figured out the tooling and the arguments this time. Excellent. You see now the top is three and the skip is two. And that way it's making a query on this. I just put a console log to explain that how actually query is being framed all the way from this MCP server. 
and it's making a request and now I'm able to get the data. That's super cool. Let's do one more round and that is get two new uh, orders, right? This time and keep uh, three records. So now let's see what kind of a tool it selects, right? Excellent. You see the Lama response giving as a get sales order, arguments is two and skip is three. And accordingly, it fetches this two sales order information. Fantastic. Okay, this is what I actually wanted to show that how that MCP things uh, works. Uh, I, I already have the coding. Uh, if you really want to uh, understand, and this is my MCP client. And uh, I'm just using the earlier uh, project. Uh, where I just created my MCP server and SAP service, same project I just integrated with my MCP client. And here, this client will make a, a call to this particular port where my uh, Llama 3 model is running that we can show you, we can see over here in this uh, platform. You see, same, the same port actually exposed where my uh, Llama 3 model is actually listening to or Llama platform is there. So here, actually, I am putting my Llama base URL and uh, this is the chat system and finally uh, it will start the mcp server okay because this index.js it will make a call uh, as a spawn job right to to trigger this mcp server locally uh, i am using local uh, uh, mcp hook uh, as you can see that uh, it is unlike uh, uh, the webhook or something uh, deployed purpose for btp i used it is actually standard input output Okay, so now what happens? I got this MCB server triggered automatically, and finally uh, it will pass the message. And uh, you know, uh, this is where the tools availability. It will find how many tools are there, and it will actually get make a call to this respective tool, right? All right. So how the query is going? This is the initial query uh, for the Olama to get to know it's actually well working fine or not. And this is the generate API generate. I created this video along back uh, where I also showed that how we can make a direct call to this uh, Olama 3 platform and we can create certain app of code, you generate certain app of code. So the same uh, you know, API kind of a URL I'm using here as well. And finally, I'm extracting certain information from the uh, results. And this is the actually chat system, which is uh, going on uh, as you can see, as you've just seen in the comment prompt. And uh, here I'll get the tool at uh, the moment I get the tool, this call tools actually know which tool to call, right? But before that, uh, it makes a request to this uh, LLM. And I said, like, choose the right tool. Uh, this is the user prompt or system prompt, you can say, right? Choose the right tool and identify the arguments correctly and respond with JSON only. Uh, you can improvise this uh, prompt actually, uh, which Claude will be doing automatically. You will not be writing this much of thing. Uh, so this is what I have to give, right? Choose the right tool and the arguments correctly and respond with the JSON only. Okay, so that way uh, you can see that in the in the system prompt, I already told that you help user, you means here the LLM3, Llama Model 3, help user to access the SCB data. Okay, and then available tools, uh, whatever the tools I, will, I have already received querying the MCP server that I'm just giving over here, mentioning this is the available tools. And I'm telling that, okay, respond with uh, this tool name and the arguments where top and skip should be filled um, uh, based upon your context you know, evaluation of the user input. So that way it knows the tool to call. And finally, uh, with this extraction, uh, it will actually make the right call and with the passing arguments. The moment it gets to know the uh, call tool, this actually make a request to the MCP server because MCP server will be exposing the respective tools. And from that MCP server, it will call the SAP service to finally make a call to the SAP backend, which is nothing, again, my backend um, platform running on this container. I hope this is uh, clear now, at least how you can integrate uh, this kind of MCP server with your custom chat if you wish to. Obviously, uh, this is a local way I tested uh, in this case, you can basically make a request to chat GPT using API key, something like that. But the concept is actually same. 
Hope it was informative to you. Thanks for watching. Share your feedback. And see you next.